Temple, been preparing for weeks, really months for this game, the biggest game in Temple football history. Who says that? Everybody at Temple. Notre Dame's definitely going to need it because the next four out of five games are on the road and they're going to have to be road warriors. All right, listen, we've talked about tactics. We've talked about what we need to do. Now, let me tell you about how you play the game of football. You cannot play this game without without something from within that starts to show itself when you step on that field. And that feeling inside when you play this game of football, whatever you call it, whatever word you want to describe, but there's got to be that aggression. There's got to be that, that bite to you that you bring to the football field. And you got to knock people around. This is a physical damn game. Understand that. And you're going to have to display that tonight. You know what you're in for. It's going to be a physical football game. Bring that from within. Whatever word you want to use, you've got to be able to pull it from within and put it on display tonight. Second meeting all time. Here's the kickoff. Third down and eight. Kaiser stands in, throws downfield. Beautiful connection for a first down. It's Will Fuller. This guy's from Philadelphia and wants a huge game tonight. Second and goal. Here is a handoff and Kaiser pulls everybody in the building and takes it in himself. A beautiful fake by Kaiser. Notre Dame with a most impressive opening drive, 6-0. Listen, you're sitting on third down and going one hole. It's a big matchup. One hole and third down, one hole. I got a lot of, lot of one hole on third down. Yes. I just got yeah. to look. I got to look. The tight, end, the tight end can't get there. I was so focused on my front, on I didn't front. even look yeah. behind that. I just got to look behind that. Okay. Notre Dame is getting constant pressure, and Temple sends out its field goal team. And Temple gets points on their second possession. I was double, there was double on the one, but he definitely wanted to cut it back. Yeah, it wasn't is. a handback of any kind, right? No. They ran into me, though. Like, they based out on me. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I came back to it. But you made the play before I could hit him. Chris Brown was the intended receiver. But Temple makes a diving interception. And now they stop Notre Dame's scoring drive and take over the ball. Make a call on final. Come on. Trust the potential to say, all right, 6 Go. Because they're all playing up. Okay. Well. Hey. Yes. Okay, hey, we just got to hit the reset button. All right, hey, we just got to we got to go make good decisions with the football. That's really what it comes down to. I know you were trying to get it to the uh, to the under, and we didn't have a chance to get it ball. So we didn't get the ball like we wanted to, but we got to we got to get get start making some throws. Okay. All right, let's go play. Let's go on full. Temple spreads the field. The open side is the right. He's hit as he releases the ball, and it might be caught in traffic. Catch made. Bryant dives. Touchdown. An underdog Temple takes the lead over favored Notre Dame. Notre Dame's going to try to answer now after a 94-yard drive and nine plays. Temple brings up eight men to the line of scrimmage. They're jamming the front. Say, run at us if you can. He keeps it himself and breaking into open field is Deshaun Kaiser across the 50 and the 40. Races on the 20. He will go the distance. His best play is a Notre Dame quarterback. And Deshaun Kaiser brings the Irish from behind. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I thought I was getting hooked from behind. You won. Uh, no, it wasn't, it bro. Up, bro. I spread, I spread uh, distance, and that was a great block. I saw before the play, I was like, look, I'm pulling this. He's like, I'm getting tackled behind the line for two. I'm around the edge and I'm gone. Because there's no way, bro. There's like, there's like nine people in the box. So now it's third and ten for Notre Dame. Will Fuller all the way up at the top. Kaiser looks that direction, now throws into the end zone. Intercepted on the carom. It's Matikiewicz with a second. Really got to be aggressive and get across his face because he's so far inside you. You know what I mean? Really work hard to get across his face. Notre Dame in the lead, 14-10. Notre Dame with two interceptions deep. And the Temple end of the field near the end zone. You got to work your feet quicker on your bubbles. Slide to your throws. You're stepping back. I mean, the two red zone turnovers, right? We eliminated that from our game. We're feeling pretty good about life right now, okay? So we just got to keep doing what we're doing. We got to protect the football and take care of it better. We know where we need to be when this game ends. We've got two quarters for this football team. Team 127 has got to lay it on the line for the next two quarters. You got to sell out, you got to give everything you have, you got to find a way to win this football game. 
Put your helmets on, let's go win. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go together, boys, together. Third and 13, line to gain is the Notre Dame 37 yard line. Here's Walker, here comes the heat. Walker steps up, balls on the field. Looks like Temple did get it. Sheldon Day was the guy who hit him and sprung the ball loose. And now the Owls have to punt. Hot ball to the near side. Notre Dame crosses midfield and on the run inside the 40. Not done inside the 30. Race towards the end zone. Notre Dame's receiver, Torrey Hunter Jr., advances it to the 14-yard line. Justin Yoon will try a 23-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it's good. But it's only a seven-point lead for Notre Dame. Temple and Maroon and White on their home field. Unbeaten this season, 7-0. So now third down arises for the Temple Owls. Down to Notre Dame with 12.57 to play in the fourth quarter. 17-10 Irish lead. Here comes the rush. He throws to the end zone. What's this now? Here's a penalty marker thrown. And he dropped it, but I don't know who the penalty is on. What can the penalty be? He dropped the ball. Personal foul. Targeting defenseless player. Defense number 22. The under review. Elijah Shoemate guilty of the targeting. They'll review it. But that usually jumps out, and I didn't see that. But we still have to go to replay and look at it, okay? The ruling on the field is confirmed. Number 22 is disqualified. After distance to the goal, automatic first down. Go. He's, He's got to go. So instead of fourth and goal in a field goal attempt, Shoemate's out. So they uh, eject Shoemate, one of Notre Dame's finest players. Fourth and goal, Notre Dame by seven. Here's a pitch to Jihad Thomas, turns the corner, he goes in. Temple will get the ball. And the Owls, who specialize in fourth quarter wins, are up by three with 4.45 left. Uh, against a real tough defense, can Notre Dame muster up another comeback? And Will Fuller, the Philadelphia product, their big playmaker, has been held in check tonight, hasn't yet been able to make a play. Is this his time? In the pocket. Backpedals, delivers, far side, catch made, Fuller, clutch play for the Philadelphia native. Late pressure against Kaiser, who throws downfield, wide open, Jones, muscles down into the red zone. Alize Jones, the young tight end, the chess match, pre-snap here. Kaiser, looks to the end zone, moves the throw, caught, their touchdown, Notre Dame. Will Fuller, hometown, touchdown. You couldn't keep Will Fuller down all night long. Not a way to keep fighting. Okay, hey, be ready for anything that could happen. We gotta go down and score again. Win the game. Great job, man. Great job. Coming at the quarterback to the back side, you got the quarterback. Temple has not turned the ball over tonight. 202 left to play, and Notre Dame now leading by four. He breaks away, throws on the run. Kiveri Russell, just as he did against Southern California. It's intercepted by Notre Dame. Takes the ball and wins the game. We went out before that drive, I said, the whole world watches. Hey, they know we the whole world watches. They know we're gonna get the job done. The whole world watches. That's what big time players do. The whole world watches. Hey, hey, hey. And Notre Dame now goes to seven and one. You know that you've got the mental toughness to be a champion. Uh, down on the road, uh, <laughs> in a, in a, in a playing a, a football team that has won a lot of games late, uh, you showed a lot tonight. He had a 79-yard run um, and, and, and dropped a dime uh, and, and led that big drive uh, when we needed it in the fourth quarter. Um, and, and so he's got the game ball next to Sean Kyle. <laughs> We respect our opponent, uh, but we've got to get better as a football team. We've got to coach you better. We've got to get back to work. 
and we got a tough Pittsburgh team. We've got to be road warriors, and it's going to be a battle. You know that. One, two, one, two, three, four. You showed the fortitude that you needed that position to win every week. It's going to be 330. Can we get back? That's not a difference. I know. I'm no, I'm just saying, like, it's 3.30 when we get back. What do you think we're going to do?